we are right in the middle of 4b when the last video ended so let me just backtrack a little bit because this is usually the most confusing part for students so there was a minus sign there so i added the opposite like we were taught do that first thing then i look down and go oh this is backwards it's not in descending order so i make it negative x positive 5 but then we learn in chapter 4 we never want our leading coefficient to be negative that means take out a negative 1 gcf so i took out negative 1 when I divided both of these by negative 1, I got positive x minus 5. And then this is negative 2 divided by negative 1, which we're allowed to divide because it's multiplication. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is just positive 2. So we take this sign plus. Remember, that's already gone. We just canceled it right there. And write plus this, 2 over x minus 5. Now we're officially ready to start the problem. We have all the denominators factored. We're ready to do the restriction box, and we're ready to do the LCD. So the restriction box, I go down the list and say, what makes this denominator 0? Well, what makes this 0? 5 minus 5. So x cannot be negative 5. And if you're not sure, plug it in. Is negative 5 plus 5 0? Yes. What makes this 0? 5 minus 5. So x can't be negative 5 or positive 5. Negative 5 here, positive 5 here as well. So there is my restriction box. If I get either one of those answers at the end, I have to throw it out. These are the values x cannot be because they make my denominators 0. Okay, now we're ready for the LCD. LCD is write everything you see with the highest exponent you see. I see no exponents, so I know my LCD will not have any exponents. So I see an x plus 5 to the first tier and an x plus 5 to the first tier, so the highest power I see is 1. I see an x minus 5 to the first tier and x minus 5 to the first tier, so the highest power I see is 1. So my LCD is x plus 5, x minus 5. So remember, once you find that, you go to the numerator of every fraction and write that beside the numerator so you can cancel, and voila, next step, all the fractions will be gone. Why did I just write W? Because I said the word voila. Oh, my brain. Well, x plus 5, x minus 5, x plus 5, x minus 5. So then go down the list, x plus 5, x plus 5, 1, x minus 5, x minus 5, 1. So guess what I have left? 32. That's it. Isn't that beautiful? This is fun stuff. You take all this ugliness and turn it into beauty. Okay, on my next one, we have x plus 5 divided by x plus 5. That's 1. So what do we have left? Equals 4 parentheses x minus 5. So that's a lot nicer looking than that fraction. And then on the last one, we have x minus 5 divided by x minus 5, 1. So notice all my fractions are gone, and they should be gone if you've done the LCD correctly. So now that's going to turn into plus 2x plus 5. So look at that easy little equation we have to solve. Distribute, combine like terms, solve for x. I'm going to put this side on the other side just because I like my x's on the left. So I'm going to write 4x minus 20 plus 2x plus 10 equals 32. I see students make so many mistakes when they leave their equations backwards. So I'm just like a lunatic about it now. I want all the x's on the left because that raises your chance of getting it correct. So distributed distributed and just flip-flopped. So now we have like terms here. 
and we have like terms here. So we need to combine our like terms before we start moving things from side to side. So it's looking like 4x plus 2x is 6x. Negative 20, positive 10 would be negative 10. So look at that. Nice, simple little equation now. Two-stepper, done. So do the opposite. Add 10, add 10. 6x equals 42. Divide by 6, divide by 6. x is 7. Then I need to glance up at my restriction box. Is 7 in the restriction box? No, it is not. So there's my solution. Woohoo! So that was a pretty easy problem considering how ugly it looked at the beginning. Look at that big ugly mess. And we just turned it into something simple and easily solved it. Okay, 4C is next in that. So on both of these, you should write attached page. So you know to look at your attached page. I think we have enough room for D, but B and C will be our last two we need to put on an attached page. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy C. For C is going to be twelve X plus nineteen over X squared plus seven X plus twelve minus 5 over x plus 4 equals 3 over x plus 3. So I just copied it right off the practice test. So 12x plus 19 divided by x squared plus 7x plus 12 minus 5 over x plus 4 equals 3 over x plus 3. Okay, done. So now we're ready to work it. So remember, we have to find an LCD and our restrictions first, and we can't do any of that until the denominator's factored. So we're looking for factors of 12 that add to 7, looking like 3 and 4. Oops, and I see a danger zone here. Add the opposite. Get that negative up there so we don't lose it later. And all plus signs, so it's going to be all plus signs when we go to write it. So 12x plus 19, and then it's going to be x plus 3, x plus 4. And you can see 3 plus 4 does give us 7, which is what we wanted. Plus negative 5 over x plus 4 equals 3 over x plus 3. So we can see our common denominator is going to be x plus 3 and x plus 4. Write everything you see without repeating. So that looks like our LCD is going to be x plus 3, x plus 4. So let's go ahead and write that here. LCD, x plus 3, and x plus 4. And our restrictions, x cannot be, what makes this 0? Negative 3. What makes this 0? Negative 4. Negative 4, negative 3. So x cannot be negative 3 or negative 4. Next, we have to take our LCD and write it in the numerator of every fraction. This one has two terms, so we'll put that in parentheses. And then beside it, we're going to write x plus 3, x plus 4. And then beside this, x plus 3, x plus 4. 
and then beside this one, x plus 3, x plus 4. So next, remember, we want to cancel and get rid of all denominators. If you still have fractions after this step, then you've done something wrong because they should be gone. That's the whole reason we multiply by the LCD is to get rid of those. So x plus 3 divided by x plus 3, 1. x plus 4 divided by x plus 4, 1. So that's looking like 12x plus 19 is all that's left. Nice. No fractions. x plus 4 divided by x plus 4, 1. So it looks like plus a negative, remember, is just minus 5 times x plus 3. And then last, and look at no fractions left. Woohoo! And then last, x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 equals 3 times x plus 4. Wow, that is nice. No fractions, just a nice, simple algebra equation to solve. So let's have at it. So first we need to get rid of the parentheses so we can combine like terms. So negative 5x, negative 15. And then on the other side of the equal sign, 3x plus 12. So no like terms there, but we do have a couple over here. So 12x and negative 5x, positive 19 and negative 15. So that leaves us with 7x, 12x minus 5x is 7x, plus 19 minus 15 is positive 4. Keep the sign of the larger. So now we just have a little two-step equation to solve. Move all the x's to the left. Move everything without an x to the right. So minus 3x, minus 3x. So we get 4x plus 4 equals 12. Now we need to move our constants to the right. And we get 4x equals 12 minus 4, 8. Divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals 2. Then we immediately look up in the restriction box and we go, yes, it's not up there. So 2 is my solution. So I go here and I write a solution set showing the reader that 2 is a valid solution. It's not extraneous. It wasn't in the restriction box. It is a valid solution. Get out of here. Sorry, had to chase the dog away. Okay, so we are ready to start 4D. I don't think we're going to get it done, but we can at least start it. So 4D, a little bit simpler than the others, I think. So let's first go ahead and write it nice and big so we can cancel easily. So 8x over x plus 1 equals 4, we'll leave a little space, minus 8 over x plus 1. So why I say this one's easier is, look at the denominators, x plus 1, 1 and x plus 1. Well, the LCD has to be x plus 1. That's the only denominator. And the restriction box is going to be easy because all we have to do is say what makes this 0. Negative 1 plus 1 would be 0, so that means x cannot equal negative 1. So let's highlight that. I kind of wrote it a little bit small. Let's highlight it to remind ourselves what x cannot be. Okay, so now beside every single fraction, we need to write a whole number. We need to write the LCD. And guess what most students do wrong on this one on the test? They go here and they go here. Do you guys see my mistake? I can't skip terms. 
doesn't matter that this isn't a fraction, it still needs to be multiplied. You won't keep, make your, your equation will not be equivalent if you just think, oh, I think I'll multiply this one and this one and skip that one. No, 